you know something I'm really bad at? I'm really bad at self-love and I know I'm not alone in this, so let's talk about it. So the topic of self-love I feel isn't one that Gen X necessarily grew up with. At least I did it in my household, which was not the most functional household in the world. Um, my dad was an absolute angel. You'll hear me talk about him a lot, um, both in my blog and in upcoming videos. But my mother was a bit um, different. So I was raised to believe that any type of self-love and this is like a totally G-rated self-love, by the way, that any type of self-love or me time was selfish and that any extra time that you had as a human should be used solely for the purpose of serving others. Now, my mom was very good at taking her me time, but none of us were supposed to. And it's a good thing I'm chuckling about it because it's actually not funny. Um, but... We'll share on this topic a little bit more down the line. Um, Self-love, yeah. So it's not something I grew up with. And I really don't feel like I heard it come up as a topic when I was growing up in general, whether it's it was at school or, or you know, reading magazines in the doctor's office. And I, you know, had subscriptions to Seventeen and all those other fun magazines. And I don't know, did you guys hear about self-love growing up for those of you Gen X and, and perhaps a little bit older? Because I think outside of hearing stories of like, you know, all the absolute hedonism and good times that people had in Woodstock, which was before my time, I just feel like that topic of self-care, self-love, me time, all of that just was just not a thing. So anyway, I have struggled with that my whole life. I suck at it. I'm really, really bad at it, even though I make it a point to daily, daily, daily remind myself and remind other people, particularly other moms via my blog or via this channel to take me time, even if it's five minutes. And I'm not joking because five minutes in the motherhood is like, somebody else's vacation in Tahiti. That is how coveted and important that time is. Five or 10 minutes. For the past, I want to say three or four months, my me time consists of a couple of things. I have made it a point to work out anywhere between 10 or 20 minutes a day. It doesn't seem like a lot, because we live in, in the world of Instagram uh, fitness influencers. But the reality for those of us who work full time, who work full time and care for other people outside of ourselves is that we may not have an hour to spend at the gym. We may not have 30 minutes to spend in the gym. So carving that time out to do something for yourself, which is actually super beneficial for your health and longevity, like being active, even if it's a 10 minute walk, that is really, really crucial. So I've gotten that under control. But when it comes to other forms of self-love and me time, I'm still struggling. I think it's really easy to forget. And I'm going to address this to us moms. It's really to forget once you have children that you matter too, because we tend to pour everything into our kids, everything into our homes, our husbands, our pets, um, our other family members, and we put ourselves last, which seems like the benevolent thing to do. But at the end of the day, we're setting a terrible example to our kids because walking around like a living I don't know, martyr or a living sacrifice is so unhealthy. And there's got to be a balance because I feel like along with motherhood comes the fact that you don't just all of a sudden, you know, give birth to this little human and then keep partying and traveling without your kid all the time and doing this and living like you did before. Like you should have a balance. That balance to me is elusive as all get out, but maybe in another lifetime, I'll figure it out. Um, but I just feel like it's so important to set the example for your children that you love yourself 
as an individual outside of the motherhood as well, that you still maintain um, the hobbies and the things that you love doing that make you who you were pre-motherhood, that you have that me time. Um, and kids don't get it, especially when they're actually, they never get it. I don't care what age they are. Kids don't get it that you need five minutes of silence ever. <sighs> But it's still important to kind of drill that point in. This is mom's time. I need 10 minutes to go meditate. I need five minutes to make a cup of tea and sit down and write in my journal. I need five minutes to go sit on the toilet with a book by myself. I don't care if the house is on fire. It's just, it's, it's key because moms, even more so than dads, unless it's a single dad dealing with everything on their own, like we really give it all up. And um, that self-love goes out the window and all the love we have goes towards just everyone else. So um, it's so important. Let's see, my battery's running out. It's so important to, to just kind of remind ourselves, I think every moment or every day that you get out of bed with that first step you take out of your bed to just remind yourself five minutes, just five minutes or 10 minutes, um, five, 10 minutes, 20 minutes if you can. So for me, it's a total of 30 minutes a day. And some days, some days it doesn't happen. I'm not going to lie, but I want to say that I've gotten down to 90% of the time that I am allowing myself that 20 minutes to work out. Um, and then I try this one's a hard one. I try to take another five or 10 minutes to sit down with a cup of one of my de-stressing de teas, which I did another video about, which I'll link below, um, and either read a book, put away the noise of the cell phone, read a book, journal, write a blog post, or just like note, write some notes or meditate. That's the new one. So my cousin's husband, my cousin and her husband, oh my gosh, they are like, they are such inspirational people. And I, I learn so much from them every time I see them. Um, and they're really, really big into meditation, especially um, Joe Dispenza's guided meditation. So because of them, I've been inspired to kind of return to figuring out meditation because I have the loudest, noisiest brain on the planet. 50 million things going on at once because I just, that's how it is. I have so many things to take care of that I need a guided meditation. And so um, that's that's my other thing that I'm trying to fit in on a daily basis to show self-love, to show that I matter. Even if it's telling the kids, I'm sorry, I need to step away and I need to go do this for myself. Um, it's, it's important to set those boundaries because you want them to learn to set those boundaries too. When they're older, it's going to help with their mental health. And when it comes to you as mom, it's just going to make you a better mom. It gives you more patience to just deal with the insanity that is motherhood in general. So that's really it. Um, you know, self-care, self-love does not come to me naturally. And I know I'm not alone in this. Um, and so I think when you come to that realization, you just have to kind of force yourself to act as if it is a natural part of your everyday life. And, and I believe that if you make it habitual, if you turn that self-care, that self-love into something that you do a little bit, a few minutes every single day, it will just become a part of your life. You won't even think twice about it. That's where the working out has come for me. I'm gonna do a workout video one of these days, or it's not really a workout video, but you'll watch what I do because um, I just work out very realistically. Like I'm, you know, I don't love it. I hate working, I'm not gonna lie. I do not like exercise. I just know how important it is. And I wanna keep things from falling all the way south for as long as possible. So that's why I do it. Um, but I'll do that and I'll show you guys what I do because it's just like, I think it's pretty, pretty manageable for most people unless you've got like newborn triplets. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to come in here and commiserate because self-love is so important. I wrote a really, I think, nice blog post, which I'm going to link below um, that talks about the importance of self-love, especially as mothers, um, what that struggle is. You know, I think it's so easy for us to fall into the mindset that we're being selfish if we take time for ourselves. And the opposite is true. We need to love ourselves. We need to take that self-care time and that little bit of me time and it'll make us better better moms better wives better partners friends you name it when you love yourself it's amazing 
how so many things just kind of fall into place that otherwise would have eluded us. Because if you just in this sense of constant stress and like, you know, almost victimhood, I can't do anything because I'm guilty of that too. But you know, <laughs> like, cause I can't do half the things I want to do because I have so many responsibilities. But you know, you kind of chip away at that little by little. You just take those little moments the little meditation, the hot bath, the reading a book, the cup of tea, whatever it is, take a drive around the neighborhood for a few minutes and blast your, you know, 90s grunge or your 80s hip hop, whatever it takes. But there are ways um, that we can all take five or 10 minutes a day to love ourselves. If you've got some tips on what you do for your self love, especially if you are in the parenthood. I want to hear all about it. Uh, please drop a comment below because we're all just trying to stay sane here. Please go ahead and like, subscribe, share, whatever it is that we need to do so that we can keep rewiring adulthood together. I'll see you next time.